In Bharat, without external aid, the whole of the Bharatiya civilization, all of the citizens, are creating wealth without exporting suffering. And they're creating wealth without exporting anything at all which is causing harm, discord, um, instability in any other nation. Do you know, I, I was doing some research as to when did the West develop an antipathy and a hatred and a fear of Bharat. And there was one moment, and it was when German scholars started to study the grammar that was contained in the Sanskrit Shastras, Baninese grammar. And the scholars recorded that a civilization which is capable of producing such a masterful understanding of word, form, letter and communication is a threat to us. And that was the catalyst when they decided that this was going to be a threat to their global hegemony. And so the seeds started to be planted. Now, if you have a look at today, we have got Bharat, which is doing the same thing. It's running a nation in a manner in which the people are not suffering. They're not enslaved. And I say that um, seriously. In the West, the Western nations stand on slavery. They became addicted to the success which slavery gives and sadly, even to this day, even the populations themselves in Western nations are to a large degree enslaved, either knowingly or unknowingly. And so there is a clash, there is a fear, and the fear is the same that always existed. Is there a different way for human beings to live on this earth, which is contrary to the way in which the Western powers exist? Yes, there is, and Bharat is demonstrating it. We saw it in Bharat saying, we're going to export vaccines without making profit on it. We can't make profit on the suffering of other human beings. That itself, as one little indicator, would shake to the very foundations the notions upon which Western, Western profiteering is constructed. 